Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's video. Also very confused by today's video. So uh, I was like a thousand percent confident that I've reviewed Hetty Topper before. Um, I cannot find a review of it anywhere. Uh, I was, I, I looked like behind the scenes, like on my end, what I can look up. And then I look, just went on YouTube and I typed in No Hype Beer Reviews, Hetty Topper. Uh, and I was like, oh, maybe I reviewed it on someone else's channel. So I like check Nerd Sense and stuff. So um, the only thing that I did is I compared a fresh one to like, a, I think it was a two month old one. And that was years ago. I think it was before we moved to Albany. So um, I actually bought <laughs> a four pack of this and a four pack of Focal Banger just because they had them locally. Uh, and then um, looked and when I saw that, I was like, I guess I need to review it. I wasn't even planning on reviewing it. So this is pretty rad. I uh, proper glassware, even though you're supposed to drink from the can. Why do you sell glassware then? I know they have other beer styles that they probably don't say drink from the can. Uh, 8% ABV. Uh, if you don't know what Heady Topper is, um, I, I don't know. I got nothing for you. And no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll read the back. So if you're not interested, just fast forward. Uh, Hetty Topper is an American double IPA. This beer is not intended to be the biggest or most bitter. It is meant to give you wave after wave of hoppy goodness on your palate. Tremendous amounts of American hops will creep on, cre creep up on you and leave you with a dense hoppy finish in your mouth. So drinking, so, wow, slow down. So drinkable, it's scary. Sometimes I wish I could crawl right into the can. Uh, freshness and control have always been my main concern when it comes to our beer. We are committed to providing you with an unfiltered and unpasteurized hop experience. Why do I recommend that you drink it from the can? A lot of controversy about drinking it from the can or not. Uh, quite simply, simply uh, to ensure a delightful hop experience. The act of pouring it in a glass smells nice, but it releases the essential hop aromas that we have worked so hard to retain. The other thing that I've heard, I'm not calling them liars, is just because like when they came out with this beer, hazy beers wasn't a thing so that they thought it would be off-putting for people to look at the beer. But again, I, I, I've heard that doesn't make it true, but that's like the little bit of controversy I've heard about why they say to drink from the can. Uh, if you must pour it into a glass, you may find that some of the, and this is I think where that train of thought comes from, um, find that some of the hop resins have settled to the bottom. Leave them in the can while pouring. This beer is perishable and it's best when it's young, fresh, and hazy. Um, this is, oh wow, this is like super fresh. I didn't know since it was a local drop, uh, but this beer is a week, almost a week and a half old is all. Wow, okay. I haven't even tried this beer yet, and I, I mean, again, I've had, 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 had I've had Hetty Topper in the past, but um, I already wish I bought more than the four pack because I, I gave one to my neighbor and Focal Banger. I gave one to my buddy Ty. <sighs> Grapefruit and marijuana. I mean, dank. It's been a bit since I've had one. I remember correctly, the last time when I sipped it, smelled it or sipped it, I swore. It was so good and I try not to swear on the channel so I will try not to recreate that moment, but it was so good. I, I, I don't remember what word I used, but I was just like, maybe like F. You know, like it was like one of those moves. Anyway, let's get into the beer review. So yeah, it's, you know, hazy by today's standard. It's still a hazy looking beer, uh, more orange than anything. Yeah, there's a little bit of yellow in there. Um, the head, not as compact as some other beers, but um, the color's similar. It's that bone white, egg white. It's a little grayish. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like, you know, New England style IPA. Let's get the aroma. Sorry, double IPA. <sighs> yeah, it's... Okay, so this is really good for me because I've said this in other reviews. And this is some... I don't want to say confirmation, but this is some evidence for something that I uh, I experience, and I've had a few other people reach out that they also have experienced this or know people who have experienced this. Uh, but yeah, you, you definitely get some nice citrus. Um, you get uh, like grapefruit, some dank for sure. Those are probably the three uh, most common things I think people associate with this beer. But here's the thing that I was talking about before. It, they use that Conan or Conan yeast, 
and I get a little bit of nuttiness from it. And that's the thing that I've had some people reach out and say, I have, I also have that experience or I know people have said the same thing. So I don't think it's common. I think it's kind of like the cilantro soapy thing. I don't think it hits everyone the same way, but this, is, I, I happen to love cilantro. Uh, I think this is my soapy cilantro where I get a little bit of nuttiness, but it isn't, it's not off-putting to me at all. It's just something I notice sometimes. Little, the orange is intensifying a little bit. A little bit of pineapple in there, too. So it's it's somewhat tropical that way. Heavy hand of the dank. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. So good. This beer is so good. It really... I mean, if you know your history of like Hetty Topper and West Coast IPAs into what we consider New England style today, um, you know, being an early version of, of a New England, it has, you know, a decent amount of holdover from West Coast. And Mark, if you're watching, hello. Uh, he's my neighbor who I, I gave one of the cans to. And um, he's a little burnt out on New England style hazy IPAs. And he's much more like he wants West Coast. You know, if we go to a bar or he goes somewhere and he tells me about it, he's like, man, they only had one, you know, uh, West Coast IPA. They didn't have any West Coast IPAs. Why don't they have West Coast IPAs, you know? And uh, in my head, I'm like, I think he's going to like these beers, even though they're New England, quote unquote, right? Because you have a good um, amount of that holdover from the West Coast. It's got some nice bitterness. It's got that danky, weedy thing for sure. I um, mean, you can get that in, in, you know, new school New England. It's like, how many times can I say these words in a single review? But um, it, it's it's a transition, is the short version. It's definitely a transition. And what you get with this transition in particular, I'm not going to talk poorly about um, a couple other ones from different breweries than this one. The transition doesn't land quite as hard for me. But here's what's great about Hey Topper. Here's the short version. It's a transition beer from West Coast to New, to New England, and you get the best of both worlds. That's the short version. That's the like little takeaway. Um, you know that that would be the real if I was to edit that piece out and put it out there like the quick snippet. That's what this beer is. Um, it's just so good. It, it hits every time. I have so much more I want to say. I, I actually so this will be the review. And then this Thursday, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my history with Hetty Topper. It was not my intention for Thursday's Thirsty Thoughts this week, but it is what it is for this week. So feel free to talk about um, anything you want Hetty Topper related in the comment section below here. But just know that on Thursday, I'm going to be talking about my experiences with Hetty and uh, uh, looking to have you share any experiences you've had with it. So either place, comment away. YouTube doesn't care as long as there's comments. Helps the algorithm. This beer's phenomenal. Can't wait to try, or not try, review Focal Banger. Because it also looks like I haven't reviewed that for the channel. But I've had that. It's so weird. The, the Alchemist beers I have had on the channel don't include Focal in this one. Anyway, now it does. Um, have you ever had this beer before? Have you had anything else from the Alchemist? If you had it a long time ago, but not recently, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.